Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in. This is going to be for your uh, for Taurus for the second half of your uh, February from the 16th to the 29th. We are going to take a look at your overall energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the second half of February, and then we'll take a look and see uh, uh, take a look and see what you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the, notif hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video is posted and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, uh, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Also, if you guys haven't heard, I am uh, doing a giveaway where I'm giving away a free 30-minute personal reading with me on Zoom. So if you guys are interested in entering, uh, I did um, put the details to enter in the YouTube community tab, so check that out. Uh, for those of you guys that are entering, good luck. I will choose the name of it out of a hat uh, and announce the winner on March 8th, okay? So tell me about um, Taurus. Energy check-in for Taurus, over energies for Taurus for the second half of their February from the 16th to the 29th. What's going on with Taurus here? Tell me about Taurus, tell me about Taurus. What's going on with Taurus here? Taurus. Okay, so we have the two of wands here and the tower here, Aries, Scorpio energy. Unexpected changes are happening in your life here. Um, I feel like you are at a cross, cross, uh, crossroads in your life and I feel like the unexpected change is the universe giving that assist, giving that nudge to make a decision here, to make some sort of move here because you've been stuck perhaps in this Two of Wands energy for quite a while here. The, uh, so the Two of Wands, Aries energy, Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy here. We have the eight, yeah, eight, eight of Swords and the Three of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you guys have been stuck. You know, it's kind of like stuck in this uh, despair, this hurt, this pain that you've gone through here. Uh, perhaps it was a breakup of a relationship here, a separation here. Now, um, you know, perhaps maybe someone here went through some sort of health issue. And since they've recovered, nothing has ever been the same here, you know. So I do feel like there's a sense of kind of like, you know, kind of like moving what you have to move through here and finding some sort of stability and happiness through your uh, uh, your journey here. And I do you believe that you will find it here, Taurus? We have the Emperor Aries energy and the Four of Wands here. Tell me the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here for Taurus? Why is the Two of Wands here for Taurus? Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been stuck for quite a while here. Um, you know, Taurus, keep in mind that, you know, Taurans are fixed energy. Sometimes it takes a Tauran, some Taurans, longer time to act and do something than other signs, you know? Um, I mean, this kind of goes for all fixed signs here, uh, but you know, just keep in mind, even though you feel like things are not really going anywhere, there's actually progress for you guys, but it's just that you guys, uh, you know, just tend to move a little bit slower, which there's nothing wrong with that. You know, everyone kind of moves at their own pace here when it comes to life, you know? So I feel like you are doing your best here and I feel like you are doing really well here and you feel like you deserve a pat in the back here, uh, Taurus, okay? Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Eight of Swords here. The Eight of Swords here and the Emperor, Sleeper, Taurus here. Interesting. Three of Swords. Taurus, I feel like this is you. This Empress here. There was a situation here that you've been stuck in for quite a while here. I mean, this could be also a loss of a spouse here, a partner. Someone here could be widowed, you know? And I feel like someone here is finally kind of like taking that leap or making that decision to be like, you know what? I can't stay like this anymore. You know, what would my person want me to do? You know, I and I feel like your person would want you to be happy and live your life, you know? Uh, tell me about the, uh, 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 the uh, uh, emperor here. Now, if this person's still living, you know, I just feel like, you know, you're just really hurt over how this person broke your heart, okay? Four of Wands here, 
and the Knight of Swords. I mean, this could be indication that someone here could be coming back around for some sort of reconciliation here or some, some sort of communication, if not a reconciliation, but to communicate, just to talk to, to clear things up here with you. Uh, but one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like, you know, some of you guys might be in this energy of being open to speaking to this individual and some of you guys might not be, okay? So just apply this to your own unique situation here. So let's see what else we have here for Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know? Look out for work on for the second half of February from the 16th to the 29th for Taurus, for Taurus. Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, wow. I mean, there could be a situation that you're still stuck in a relationship that you believe that you don't really belong in uh, because of the pain and the hurt that you've uh, went through or that you endured with this individual here. Uh, but I feel like, you know, I just feel like you're just really tired and really drained, perhaps trying to save this relationship here. And I feel like maybe this person's not putting in the equal amount of effort that you're putting in with the Queen of, Pens uh, King, uh, Queen of Pentacles here and the Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like the universe is stepping in to nudge you to try and get you to make some sort of decision regarding your person here. Um, truthfully and honestly, I feel like this person might not change here. I do feel like this person tends to be very in and out. I do feel like this person tends to be very flighty and very fickle here. And um, and I, I, I really don't feel like this person is going to really change. Yeah, you know, a lot of times when you give someone a second chance and a third chance, there should be some sort of change that happens after that. And a lot of times I I believe that by the third chance, if this person has, hasn't changed at all, I, I don't believe that this person has a big capability of change. Because I feel like if they really, really, truly wanted to be with you, they would make every effort to make that change. You know what? So um, yeah, I just don't see this happening here. With the nine, nine of Wands here and the Six of Pentacles, you're pouring too much energy into this. The other person's not. There's a lack of equal give and take. This person keeps dropping the ball on here on you. Uh, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I feel like you've been going back and forth with this for a very long time here. And I feel like you still haven't really quite decided here. You know, keep in mind, even though you're going back and forth, you haven't done anything here. Just keep in mind there is progress here. Eventually you will make a decision here. You know, if you're pushed far enough, you're going to be like, you know what? F this shit, I'm just going to get out of here, you know? So the Queen of Pentacles here and the world, yeah, you will end things with this person here. I would give it another six months or so, yeah, um, because I, I, I do feel like this is someone that you have a very strong bond here with. And, you know, keep in mind, like I said, and, you know, Taurans are fixed energy, so it kind of takes a longer time for a Taurus to let go of something or somebody, okay? Uh, doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you you know if this is just your process you know this is just how you operate you know and there is progress here just keep that in mind okay knight of wands here we have the uh hangman piscean energy the ace of swords here and the king of pentacles we have the empress of the empress here and the, and the king of pentacles to the queen of pentacles I do feel like the universe is nudging you to make a decision here because you're sitting in the energy here where you're just tired of being stuck or things are things are not changing here or that, you know, all the weight of this relationship is put on your shoulders here and the other person's just like lazy, you know? So we have the hangman here and the king of pentacles. I feel like the masculine here is not really quite doing anything here. There's a lack of perspective here. Uh, I do feel like this person's completely stuck in their ego. This person is very resistant to listening or accepting what they've done wrong here. This person's not meeting halfway. And I feel like what's happening is I feel like you're about to turn your back from the situation here uh, because you're realizing that you might be in a toxic relationship or that you're dealing with a narcissistic individual here that only thinks about themselves, all right? Uh, so Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.